In today's tip, we're going to talk about how to use what are called Firefox extensions and a couple of other little tips as well, including some uses of the search box that a lot of people, I think, overlook. So let's go and start with Firefox extensions, which are just little programs that enhance the way Firefox looks. But we're going to show you how to find new extensions. You're going to click Tools, then you're going to click Add-ons. When Add-ons comes up, you'll want to click Get Extensions. When you click Get Extensions, you'll be transported to the Firefox extension website. And at that website, you can browse by a specific category if you know what you're looking for. Or, as with all websites today, you can search at the top of the screen for what you want to look for. And in this case, I want to look for an FTP program. So I'm going to click here on this first Fire FTP. You can read more about it, even get links to the site or the developer who, who created it and then uh, read some comments from other users on whether or not people like it. And then when you're ready to install it, you click the big green button that says Install Now. You'll get another window making sure that you want to indeed do this. Click Install Now again. The downloads are always very short, even uh, just more than 30 to 60 seconds, even on a dial-up machine. Once you've installed the program, the little extension, you're going to click Restart Firefox. When Firefox reappears, it brings you right back to where you were. If there are special instructions for that particular program, they will come up and give you some instructions on how to further configure that. But you can usually find those extensions in either Tools or View. So I'm going to go to Tools, and sure enough, under Tools, I have my Fire FTP. So here's my Fire FTP window. It puts my computer on the left-hand side. I can configure the right-hand side for my website. And that's all there is to it. That's installing an extension. So it's under Tools, Add-ons, click Get Extensions right here to get going. Now, if you want to remove an extension, maybe you're using something, you have something installed that you don't use anymore, then you can click on that extension and then choose Uninstall. And then that will get rid of that extension if you have it. Now let's move to the search box. By default, with, Google, with uh, Firefox, you get Google, Yahoo, Amazon, Creative Commons, eBay. I believe they give you Webster Dictionary. And then you also get Wikipedia. Those are the standards. I've added a few of these others in here to my, to my search box. And the way you can add your own search engines that you might use often is you click here at the bottom where it says Manage Search Engines. And then it, you can delete or rearrange the search engines as you want. This is new in version 2. But when you're ready to find a new search engine, click Get More Search Engines here, similar to how we did with extensions. Then the Firefox add-on search engine site comes up. And it'll show you the most popular search engines here on the first page. But if you're looking for something that's not listed there, go clear to the bottom and click on this link where it says Browse Through More Search Engines. So we'll click there. And once you arrive at this particular site, once again, you can search with the search box, or you can look through just a list of what they have available. I'm going to search for stock quotes. And I've got NASDAQ stock quotes and Netscape stock quotes as two options that I found here. So let's go ahead and do the NASDAQ stock quotes, just as an example. So I'm going to click right on the name of the extension. Then a window will pop up and ask me, do I want to add that search engine to my search bar? And I'll say, sure, just click Add. And then when I look up here at my search box, there are my NASDAQ, NASDAQ quotes. So if you want to search for something, instead of having to go to that site first and then type in your search and press Enter, all you need to do is search, put in your search term in the box. I'm going to put Puerto Rico in here and then select which engine you want. I'm usually, Google is my default. And let's say I want to see what Wikipedia has to say about the Puerto Rico subject. And then I can either click this little magnifying glass here or hit Enter on my keyboard. And then instantly, that search is sent to that site, and I get the results right in my browser. Or if I want to see 
maybe what is available in the answers.com search engine or maybe amazon.com books and videos I can just select that search engine hit enter and then whatever search term was in my search box at the time will get instantly searched and I'll be presented with those results again all without having to go back to the search engine if I'm reading an article on the web I can use this search box to help me define terms or look up more information on a topic so I'm going to change my search engine to Webster's Dictionary as I'm reading through an article let's say I get through a term like expansion that I'm not sure what it is I can highlight that word or term right click on it and then search Webster because it's up here as my search of choice comes up as a right click option I can choose that now I can continue to read my article because in another tab the definition is being found for me by Merriam-Webster and once that stops spinning around I'll be able to click to that and find the definition of expansion so that can work for any one of the search engines so using Firefox extensions and customizing and utilizing the power of your search engine is a way for you to make Mozilla Firefox work even harder than it already does for you.